Call all your Habashim, your Shai, Bashim, Makal Kadash, the Bonus to the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the Hopeful Bakiyar. Now, in the wake of the recent acquittal of Kyle Rittenhouse, an Edomite who shot up uh, and killed two uh, protesters in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and um, and injured another. It, um, the spirit has got me contemplating about how these people, so-called white people, the devil the Bible speaks of, how this man is not in trouble as other men. All right, and he's in his kingdom. He's on in his life, in his world, man. We're in Esau's world. And in that, do the Edomites get uh, privileges, man? Do they get fucking, um, you know, pretty much they get off scot-free for their crimes, man. Or so it seems. But it's all being racked up in the heavens. All right, but this piece of shit, he got fucking acquitted on all charges of any criminal uh, um, responsibility for killing people, man. For taking a fuck, uh, an AR-15, going over to the next city to, 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 you know, to kill people, man. Fuck what his intentions was. What did he do? What did he end up doing, man? And it, the, and, um, you know, the, the course of the events, you find out that the motherfuckers that he shot weren't even, uh, heated. They weren't even strapped. One of them had a skateboard and he was so-called, um, you know, afraid for his life because the nigga was wielding the skateboard, man. And he shot his ass. So, and this nigga got off Scots free. So, um, this nigga is allowed to, Esau Edom is allowed to kill people with impunity here on this side, man. The justice system is created for him. All right. Um, the whole uh, economic system is created for him. All right. All that preferential treatment that the Edomites get. Um, you know, going back and then their wealth going back to fucking to uh, the transatlantic slave trade and the plantations and their um, their slave operations here in in America alright so this piece of shit getting acquitted is just an example of these men the Edomites not being in trouble as other men man because they're in their uh, uh, heyday they're in their uh, heaven this is heaven for an Edomite man but it's temporary scripture says the the um, triumphing of the wicked is short alright but this is in Psalm 73 and 5, which you go two scriptures up. This is in reference to the wicked. All right. Which in the scriptures is a direct translation in um, most in most cases to the Edomites, man. Esau, Edom and his progeny. 70, Psalm 73 and 5, they are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. All right. So this man is not in trouble. Like the scripture says that man born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. That's really in reference to the Israelites. All right. Because we're in uh, constant captivity. We've been in constant captivity pretty much since the inception of our nation. And then when you look at... Um, how this was a lesson, a teaching point for the the nation of Israel. This is a uh, um, the fiery furnace. This is um, the 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 trials and tribulations that we'd have to go through during this uh, age, man. This this uh, um, allotment of time. See, we were to be tried in the fire. 
we were to um, experience the bottom so that we can enjoy and uh, relish being at the top for eternity, for eternity, man, eternally. All right, so this nigga Esau Edom, so-called white man, the Caucasians, man, they're not in trouble as other men. Just look at how how they are um, in society. All right, the the most, the richest people on the planet are so-called white people. All right, the devil, the Bible speaks of the elites. What are the elite banking family who have ninety-nine percent of the earth's wealth? They're so-called Jews, man. Amalekites from the nation of Edom. The tribe of Amalek. The, the Amalekites from the nation of Edom. All right. <clears throat> Look at them. Elon Musk. You got uh, Kill Gates. You got fucking um, Bezos. You got the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, DuPonts, Gettys. Um... The Clintons. Look at all the the motherfuckers in in um, United States government. I'd love to see the breakdown of the demographics of who who who's who and what's what. It's undoubtedly a mass majority of so-called white people, man, because this is their fucking time. This is their heaven. This is their kingdom. All right, they're they're up in all these the most pu- plush and posh areas on the planet man. and primarily here in America all right you got here in California you got in SoCal is one of the most high highly coveted areas to live um in the nation really in the, on the planet and it's where right there in uh fucking Palos Verdes man the second highest um, uh, uh, average medium household income in the nation. All right. Um, amongst all the, the this nigga's little suburbs and shit, you got what? You got fucking, um, you know, the Hamptons in New York. You got, um, you know, uh, uh, Laguna. And all that shit, Newport, fucking, um, you know, uh, 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 fucking Malibu, you kidding me? Uh, uh, Hollywood Hills, all that shit. What is that, uh, Calabasas? You know what I'm saying? This nigga, this nigga, um, you know, he's not in trouble, bro. He's fucking, he's, uh, he's living it up. And he's not plagued also by them curses. See? When you wonder why the Caucasian is just as a whole has just been prospering. That's why. So much so that this nigga got exonerated on all charges. Quit it. It's all self-defense. Apparently. Right? It's a fucking bunch of bullshit. But this man is not in trouble as other men. Ecclesiastes 10 and 7 says, I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. So you have the the script flip right now in society where the servant, which the nation of Edom, when you look at the scriptures and his um, origin, is the origin story is that um, the elder shall serve the younger, and Esau, being the the um, the older brother of Jacob, Jacob being the uh, progenitor of the Israelites, the twelve tribes of Israel, he was to be our servant, according to prophecy and the um, the blessing, and according to the Most High Law. He was to be, um, uh, uh, according to the Most High, uh, um, written word, prophecy, and um, course of events, how the Most High orchestrated it. The blessing was to to go to Jacob the Israelites, that the um, pretty much all the the earth would would 
would bow unto them. Okay? Including his older brother uh, Esau. It says straight up that the elder shall serve the younger. All right? But, and, and they're the servants. But you have them on horses, which denotes power. Horses denote power in the scriptures. And then, and then, um, also fucking verbatim, uh, um, in the, in the literal sense, they're on horses, meaning they're, um, they're in a high, uh, uh, stature. They're in a high position, man. All right. Above, above, um, the others. They're, they're in the top class of, um, you know, they're in the fucking top rank, top class in society therefore having that high position like being um on horseback man huh? that's what that is um indicative of and the princes walking on servants is the israelites the the kings the princes the ones that were supposed to be served on and waited on they're walking um on the ground man huh? they're in that low position shitted on destitute downtrodden all right. That's what you have. That's why this nigga don't um don't be be miffed and um and bewildered by this nigga's prosperity, man. <laughs> and that that triumph, that uh, that triumph, that fucking um that that time spot span that he was going to have to be in this state is f- fucking very short as the scripture says. All right, and we're going to finish it off because this nigga is not going to go unscathed out of this thing. He's actually going to be fucking um, completely eradicated. All right, Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwells in the land of Uz. The cup shall also, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and thou shalt make thyself naked. All right. So, um, it's showing you that Esau, Edom, is in in his heaven. It, it, this is a um, 100% proof that this nigga Esau, Edom, is in his heaven. Because it's telling the Most High, this, these scriptures, this scripture right here, it's telling him to rejoice and be glad. All right? It it shows you that um, you know they are the wicked because it tells the righteous in the scriptures to to mourn and weep, <laughs> all right, and and to have a contrite heart and to a broken spirit, all right, humble, lowly, all right, to go to the house of of uh, mourning, to rise and depart. To, to seek to flee from these times. See? It actually tells um, you in the scriptures to woe the, the, to them that are in mirth and that are at ease in these times, man. So it tell, that shows you that they're the fucking wicked. Eat them. Um, the, the so-called white man, man. That he's to, be, to rejoice, be glad, and live it up because this is his last fucking hoorah. This is his last opportunity to get in whatever he wanted before a thousand years of slavery and eradication. All right. Complete uh, um, extermination of the, the Caucasians. All right. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwells in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The cup that that's speaking about is referring to is all throughout the scriptures um, in direct references uh, is um, is referring to slavery. Okay. We had to drink the dregs of the cups of sla- slavery. We had the, the most inhumane uh, um, atrocities performed on any group of people on the face of the earth 
in the history of mankind that was done to our people. All right, the worst uh, uh, slavery ever committed to, 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 to humankind done to our people, man. We drank the dregs of the shit. And that cup that of slavery is going to pass on unto the nation of Edom, man. And that's the solace that we're to take when seeing this nigga um, in his prosperity, you know, in his fucking, um, in all his, uh, um, you know, wonder and, 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 you know, him being on this fucking pedestal, getting the fatness of the earth, as it says in the scriptures, the solace is in the fact that this nigga is going to meet a grisly end. And very soon, that cup of slavery is going to pass on to him. And then he's going to be wiped off the face of the earth. All right. So death to, to Kyle Rittenhouse and all the motherfucking Edomites, man, that rejoiced in his acquittal. All right. All you so-called motherfucking Republicans. You know, you Israelite hating, uh, uh, got them, got them Edomites and heathens. And you fucking two-thirds sellouts, man. The Most High is going to fucking destroy you, man. All right? And he's going to fucking have you in turmoil and haunt you before his return, man. Before, before the missiles drop. Before the missiles drop, man. <laughs> you guys going to feel it. All right? So with that, all praise to Yahweh, Shai, 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 Shai,